So she thinks she blew up the Jeep by starting in a minus 30 weather. She it said was it was only minus 17. I waited till a warmer day. Yeah, but it's minus 30 the night before. Minus 35. Might be an exhaust manifold leak. I hear power steering, but the engine's quiet so far. But you said last time it didn't start for about a minute. I hear an exhaust manifold leak or a, a miss. There's a miss on this side of the engine. Let it run. Don't shut it down. Your battery's real low. Oh, I just heard something tack a little bit there. Oh, I heard another crack. Yeah, I do hear some, but it's, there's another knock, yeah. But they're coming from somewhere else. Oh yeah, nothing's bad, it's broken. Oh, there's something badly wrong in there. Okay, go. Bring it, can you drive through here? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Come park it in the yard somewhere. And we'll, we should remove your battery and take the battery in. It's not, I did something bad. That, Where do you want it? I don't know, just come this way with it. <laughs> Where's it here? Yeah, that thing there's tapping pretty good. Something valve or something's popped. Right in here is good. Right there is good. Yeah, that's good. You want me to shut it off? You know something? Let it run. See if it goes away. Because it's not doing it so much no more. I wonder if it could be just something frozen up in there, but yeah, that battery should come in. That's a virtually brand new battery. <laughs> oh yeah, hey, you're wearing Crocs. It still, it almost sounded like it could have been an exhaust manifold leak at the beginning, but it's not doing it now. It did it a few seconds ago. Yeah, it's doing it there, but it's quieter sounding. Definitely sounds like metal on metal hitting. I probably smashed something to shit in the cylinder. No, because it's it's not all the time and it's not in line with like multiple fires. It seems random. But now it's not doing it. And it did it there. She's rusty. You leave my old girl alone. Yeah. Unless it's you significantly quieter now. Yeah, it actually went away. It's not doing it. It did it once since you parked here. Well, let it run for half an hour, and then we'll give it some. Oh, mind you, you're already out of it. I want you to give it some gas before you shut it off. See if we can charge the battery up. But it has to run. Your wipers, you should shut off. Go ahead. You got fucking shoes on, Mister. Well, go get your shoes. Turn it off. <laughs> no, it actually doesn't sound that bad now. No abnormal sounds. What the hell? I'm going to say one more thing to everyone watching this. This thing here hasn't had an oil change in over 100,000 kilometers. I'm not joking. This Jeep literally has not had an oil change. Oh, it did a little bit quieter there. 100,000 kilometers since it had an oil change. I am 100% not joking. But it burns or it leaks oil, and I mean, we're topping it up, so it's just, uh, I never expected it to even last this long. But yeah, now it's quiet. It's not doing it. I wonder if the oil could just have ice in it. But that sounded like metal on metal. Huh. By the way, the lights are physically not blinking. That is strictly the camera making it look like that. They are slightly uh, a little bit glitchy, you could say, with my eyes, but 
That's just on idle. It's not doing it anymore. Just give it a little bit of gas. Don't lock your keys in again. Hey, did you check your oil in the last six months? I put a little bit in. You did? Okay, so you know there's oil in it. Give it a little bit of gas. Okay. A little bit of gas. It clicked after that. Try to hold it steady at about a little bit higher. It's not, it's clicking there. It's flashing? This way. The engine light you said is flashing? Yep. Okay. Uh, sh Shut it down? No. Nah, there's no. Nothing's leaking. It's solid again, okay, just wait then. It could just be moisture in the system because she does uh, short run it from here to the mailbox and uh, that's about it. Knock sensor, I wonder if that's detonation. Huh. Might just seize up and go bang, but better to do it here than anywhere else in the yard. Because it's out of the way. Give it a little bit of a better rev. It's pretty quiet right now. Okay, let it go. definitely sounds like it's an internal it's so much quieter right now but if it's flashing it's definitely just give it one quick okay that's backfire it backfired there for sure on the intake one more time okay stop yeah no it's timing chain slap because it backfired when you did that I think you blew. Uh, you might have uh, kicked the timing on it. How was it running last time you were driving it? Fine. It was running fine, but cold weather. It probably froze up and then kicked. Snapped. Yeah, see that to me sounded like a because I heard it backfire out of the intake. It's just like solid now again. Just let it run a little bit. Just leave it idling because it's not clicking. But I'm pretty sure that it's a timing chain. And I mean, if this thing needs a timing chain, we're just going to scrap it. If it's a timing chain, it's not going to make it around the block of shit kicking. We're literally with. I bet you if you just stepped on it, it would just pop it instantly right now. The timing chain would just break. I think that's your timing chain slap. But that's like an $800 bill. It's not worth it. Not for this. Nope. I love you, girl, but you were supposed to be a good girl for the rest of the winter and she had hidden. <laughs> <laughs> so many fishing trips. Well, I don't think she's going to pop anytime soon, but. You know what? She doesn't owe me anything. This no. Thing, I put 100,000 kilometers on it. Without doing oil change? Without spending. Well, what, my ball joint broke twice. Yeah. And beyond that, I haven't really had to pay to fix anything on it. Yeah. And that was like six years ago? That was a long time ago. I put 100,000 kilometers on Yeah. Well, the thing is, it, it's only the odd time. That's why I think it's timing chain slop. And it moved three times with this. That's true. Me with the washer and dryer on the roof. Yeah. Give it a little bit more of a rev. Just don't punch it. Like, just a little rev. Just give it a little tap, but not all the way. 
A quick tap is fly by wire. Okay, yeah, okay, it's definitely backfiring out at intake there. Now, is there a chance that the intake could be filled with snow? The what? Yeah. Well, if this battery needs to be charged, so we got to let it run or take it in and charge it. Okay. Uh, leave it running, but come open the hood. I mean, I'm just thinking I should take a peek and make sure it's not something obvious that disconnected. So that's your air intake. It's on this side here where everything's wet. So it sounds like it's over here in this. Well, there's oil splashed up here. That might be for, yeah, that's from when I was checking it. From when you were checking it? Yeah, it sounds like it's definitely right there. Where's the timing tape? Right under here. And yeah, it's coming from the front. Definitely have a valve cover leak at the back. Yeah, I know that. Make sure it's just not popping through the intake, but it's not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a timing. Should we bring in the battery scene? It's fairly new. Well, it's better than it dying outside. Yeah. But we could do that tomorrow. It's not going to be nowhere near charged already, but as long as we bring it in tomorrow, it won't be frozen. Looks See, to me, it sounds like there's something jammed up in the in the piston. Well, it, it could be a stuck valve that keeps on sticking and hitting, because the. Uh, but it's not all the time. Yes. And the piston would hit it uh, after it sticks down. So I guess the only way to check that would be to take off the whole intake system and pull the head off, right? The valve covers. But if it's doing that, the valve's bent already. It's just not going to be worth fixing. Well, it would be good practice for replacing the cylinders on the Land Cruiser. Nah. It kind of looks like a Land Cruiser. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Shut her off? Yeah. Okay. Give her one more rev, just a quick one. High I'm wondering rev, if, rev? huh? High rev, low just rev? a quick all the way down and quick blurp. Okay, no, I, it's instantly backfiring all the intake. Shut it down. Yeah, you might as well shut it off. Okay, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the timing moved on her, because every time she gives a gas, you hear a little bit of a fart all the intake. <laughs> uh, and it all, and it was running good until she tried starting it in cold weather. Maybe I should put that cold start video up. I think I'll get you to send it to me and I'll put it in front of this video. No, that'll go on my channel. What are you talking about? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Put it on your channel. What's your channel name? Karis Finistus. Yes. Okay, do you oh, want to... Yeah, you're filming. Yeah, <laughs> I know this. I'm filming, yeah. I thought you'd end it already. Nope, now I'm ending it. Okay. So I guess now that we're done moving that guy... Let's go over here and see if it's uh, worth uh, doing some snow blowing. And uh, one other thing I should mention once I... Wow, look at the deer tracks. <laughs> okay, if anyone's still following this video... Uh, yeah, it's most likely not the timing chain. Uh, I've seen this happen before. And... Uh, Basically what happened is when the rock arms dropped, uh, it happens when the oil gets too sticky. Uh, there was a spring underneath them that kind of stays stuck down and the rock arms just, uh, you could say, fall out. And that's why it's just every once in a while. And uh, 
that's almost for sure what I'm guessing it is. Uh, but that still involves opening her up. Probably cleaning the sludge out of her. And uh, it does end up taking a little bit of time. But, dear Poop City. But that's most likely what it's going to be. I just got to decide if I want to bother doing it on the Jeep or if we're just going to replace it. We'll see. And of course, uh, looks like Logan been playing out here trimming trees again. <laughs> okay, so just back at my dad. So, yeah, I uh, did a little bit more research about my girlfriend's Jeep. It's a V6 3.7 liter, 2004, I believe. But, yeah, this is why you change your oil. <laughs> so it seems like there's... Uh, Almost like a semi-hydraulic, uh, I guess you could say, lifter that gets stuck. And when it gets stuck, pretty much what happens is it gives a lot of free play in the rocker arm. And it can actually physically fall out. And I'm 90% sure of it that's what it is because it only makes a noise. It's pretty random. So it just hits every once in a while to backfire. Well, that's due to uh, the valve not opening. <laughs> that makes sense. Check engine lights blinking. Uh, I know before she used to get a random cylinder misfire and it's kind of making me wonder is there maybe more than one that fell out or how long have they been out maybe it was wedged silent for a while because the jeep has never run proper uh i could say like last time i drove it's well over a year ago you could say uh but it just seems so delayed you get it's fly by wire too as far as i know i think it is anyway you give it gas and it's so delayed and then it picks up and it's pretty gutless in my opinion but for a v6 i'm saying uh so i'm not going to start working on that uh probably until spring uh but i might still pull it into a tent shed pull off the valve cover and just make sure there's no you know huge damage uh because the idea would be i'd pull out all the lifters i guess you could say uh, either replace them or bring them back into the city and clean them all in the parts washer, take them apart, put them back together, kind of like that. I'm sure they're only probably 20 bucks a piece new, but at the same time, that still adds up. For a Jeep, that, I guess, uh, went to 100,000 kilometers pretty much without an oil change. Yeah. It'll probably also need a good engine flush, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, the reason why it hasn't had an oil change, of course, is because it leaks. And it's uh, leaking on the valve cover side uh, that I'm pretty sure that the problem's on. So I'm guessing someone probably had that valve cover off a few times. But it for sure needs valve cover gaskets and a few other gaskets. That's uh, uh, for sure. And, of course, then it needs some uh, uh, suspension work and quite a few other things. Hmm. Still got to decide, most likely come spring I'll rip it apart and see if it's worthwhile fixing. Well, that's where I'm going to end this. And I tried to get the very first cold start video from my girlfriend, but she's going to be putting that up on her channel. Because it started up a couple minutes later, this noise started. And it was like minus 30. I think it's actually the same day that I started my truck. <laughs> that kind of sucks, but okay.